Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I have something very special for you today. As you probably read by my title, I'm going to be taking you on a home buying journey. Guys, these buyers are very dear to my heart. They're my one, my only, my birth givers. Yes, they're buying a home and you're coming along the journey. Full disclosure before we get into the actual video, if you're currently buying a house or thinking about buying a house in the future, and just know that this transaction, this experience that you're about to witness is not going to be completely the same as yours. I just want you guys to understand the timeline and kind of get an idea of what an escrow looks like, okay? With that being said, let's go ahead and jump into step number one. I'm sure the majority of you have come across a real estate agent or a realtor and majority of them will recommend that you speak to a lender. A lender is a person who's going to be helping you with the finances and tell you how much you can afford. And those real estate agents aren't necessarily wrong. However, I like to take the extra mile and give you an idea of what the escrow timeline looks like and what cost you should expect when you're buying a home. I know a lot of you think that down payment is the only item to expect when buying a home. However, there's other costs that include the appraisal report, the home inspection, and closing costs. So if you guys are interested in additional information on that, go ahead and email us directly. That way we can send you our buyer's packet so you have more information. So unfortunately, I did not capture that on footage. However, I am going to briefly explain to you what my parents were looking for so you have an idea of what we were on a hunt for. First and foremost, we were looking at a house between $300,000 to $340,000 max. Secondly, they wanted four bedrooms minimum. And it was very important to them that we found a house that was built in the 2000s, mainly because those houses typically are more move-in ready. So now that you know what we were looking for, let's go ahead and visit our good friend and one of my preferred lenders, Vincent Cardona. Meet Vince Cardona, branch manager of Homebridge Financial Inc. He will be playing a very important role in this transaction. Hi, good evening. Vincent Cardona here from Homebridge Financial Services, sitting here with Ms. Angie Marquez of EXP Realty. It's my honor and privilege to inform everyone that with our clients this evening, we worked for several months on credit repair, and with the help of them and Angie, we were able to pre-approve them for up to $50,000 more than what they were initially pre-approved using a CalHFA down payment assistance program with an interest rate at only 4.125%. It's my pleasure once again, branch manager, Homebridge Financial Services. Hope to see you soon. <laughs> <laughs> what are you so as you heard and as you saw, my parents have had their fair share in struggling to get pre-approved. But with true dedication and patience, the results were out of this world. The hunt begins. Let's go ahead and take a look at the houses they were debating on. House number one, two story, four bedroom house. House number two, one story, five bedroom house with three full baths. Go ahead and comment down below which house you would prefer between the two. So you're probably wondering what house did they go for? And that was house number two. What's next? We're opening escrow. We're going to be submitting our earnest money deposit to show our good faith to the sellers. And lastly, we're going to be going through our inspection period. In this part of the transaction, we cover termite report, appraisal report, disclosures, and the home inspection report. And for the sake of time, we're just going to take a look at the home inspection report so you guys get an idea of what that looks like. And thanks to our good friend David, here's a copy of the report. These reports are self-explanatory. The job of the home inspector is to find any defects through multiple tests or any visual inspections. We were pretty lucky to find that the home inspection report was pretty clean. The only highly recommended item was to fix the water heater temperature slash pressure relief valve. So while the sellers were taking care of those repairs, my parents are finalizing their loan. And in this time, normally buyers tend to get a little bit overwhelmed, but it's important to understand that the quicker you get the items that are being requested for, the quicker you will get your keys. Finally, we are in the last few days of escrow. 
And in these last few days, we still have a couple things to do. First and foremost, we will be conducting our final walkthrough. Hey guys, we're over here conducting our final walkthrough today. That same day, my parents will be signing loan docs. And what loan docs are, basically your contract with the bank. And as soon as that was finished, we just had two more days left until we finally closed escrow and we receive our keys. And then finally, I got the email on July 10th, 2019. And my parents are official homeowners once again. We're here with Veronica today. She's one of the home buyers for the property here in Delvon. And we're so happy and thrilled for her. They are finally homeowners again after 10 years. So, ¿cómo te fue tu experiencia comprando casa de nuevo? Oh, muy bien. Me siento muy contenta porque todo fue rápido. Pues son muy eficientes, muy puntuales. Y es una casa como yo buscaba y es muy fácil de aplicar porque existen muchas ayudas para que puedas calificar. Muy bueno. ¿Eso sí nos recomiendas en el futuro? Claro que sí. Todos los, aquellos que piensan que no califican, investiguen, llámenle por teléfono o búsquenla y ella les va a ayudar y les va a dar más información. Prima o prima like. like para tener muchos seguidores. So if you guys like this video and you enjoy this kind of footage, go ahead and click the like button. And don't forget to subscribe because we have something great coming for you. We have more content, so stay tuned. And again, if you ever need any real estate services, I will drop my contact information below. Thanks for tuning in and we appreciate your time.